of sip the tea. I will always be sipping some sort of beverage. Say so it is actually tea because it's brick here in Jersey. It is twinings or twinnings? I should not have said that I'm British. Twinnings of London herbal tea, the wild berries flavor. Mmm, delicious. Okay. I hope I don't get too obnoxious with the like sipping of the tea sounds. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, be serious. Um, why did I decide to start this segment? Um, I don't do get ready with me videos, so I don't, well, I haven't done them. I'm not saying that. I never will, but I haven't. So I haven't really been able to just sit and chit chat with you. And that's what I want to do in these videos with my comfy sweater that I think was like $5. Well, it's not a sweater. It's a blanket. But I think it was like $5 when I bought it and I didn't even know. It wasn't, no one had seen it. I scooped it up so fast. Anyways, so I wanted to just be able to talk to you, sit, and have a little gab fest, answer some questions that come through from time to time, and really just tell you a little bit more about myself. Because I started this whole like blog thing and talking to you out there on YouTube. And my first subscribers, you're amazing. And thank you for sticking with me through the drought of no videos. When, and I'll explain why that happened during this little video here. So thank you for joining me. I'll give you some time to get your drink, your beverage. Um, first, what I want to talk about is when I can, or back in the day when I had tons of free time on my hands, uh... Okay, there we go. And I had tons of free time on my hands. I loved watching TV. I still love watching TV. I just don't get to do it as much. But reality television? Do I die for it? I don't die for it. But do I love it? Yes, I love it. Uh, Real Housewives franchise is what got me started. Well, no, MTV Real World is what got me started. But on the Bravo Network, Real House franchise. So... Um, Real Housewives of New Jersey just ended. I do feel bad for Teresa and everything that the family's going through. I'm not here to judge, pass judgment. I wish the whole family well. Melania, I hope she gets her own show. Andy Cohen, if you don't scoop that girl up, nobody knows. You're, you're, you're slipping on your pimping if you don't scoop up Melania because she is a lot on that show. Bundle and a half and that will be also set her straight, so... Set her straight, meaning like, put money in that girl's pocket. All right, because she's crazy. In a good way, crazy. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta just started. It's about two or three, maybe three or four episodes in. Uh, Phaedra didn't go to Apollo's sentencing. Again, I don't know their whole situation. You know, they filmed for hours and hours. But you could tell something was, you know, in the works. Even Candy um, hinted at that. And... Ugh. It's just not a good situation, is it? It's not good. You know what also wasn't good? Um, watch what happens live after the episode where they showed Nini in Zumanity. Uh, did someone forget to blend that contour and highlight session? Like it was check out my Instagram because I put a picture up on it because I didn't understand what was going on at all. And with all the magazine ads that Cynthia has been in the spreads, the, the shop looks like it's doing well. Can somebody blend her hair? Can can Portia be a friend and get that weave situation settled, please? Because because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. Somebody be a friend. Somebody be a friend of somebody on that show, please. Uh, uh, uh. It's a shame. Crying shame. What else? Mm. Oh, the reason why videos and updating my blog has been a little slow or a lot so is uh I went to I went to grad school signed up for grad school I'm getting my master's in creative writing hopefully I should be done next semester when I take two more classes and then I'll be done in May but it's been tough and along with that I uh, was a teacher full-time and I also coached volleyball during the fall season so can, if you can imagine, it's been very, very busy. Um, I thank all my friends for supporting me and dealing with me through those crazy times. I would wake, I would go to bed at 12 at night, wake up at 3 to work on stuff, 
and before I had to be at work for 7.30, then leave my job by 2.45 to get to volleyball, practice until 5, 5.30, get home, work on stuff, try to stay up until 10, and then do that whole pattern over again, like, towards, like, during, like, uh, October, November time, I was super burnt out, super burnt out. So, um, hopefully there's no more of that. I only took one class this semester because I didn't want to hate my life. I accidentally did that when I first started my first semester of grad school. Um, so yeah, that was not my smartest move, but I just wanted to get it done. And then I was like, why did anybody tell me going to grad school was going to be like this? Ugh, they were like, oh, it'll be great, they said. And you're like, ah, get me out of here. <laughs> I love school. I hate I love That's what you feel like. And then when summer comes, you're like, ah, summer. Yeah, this is fucking nuts. It's a mess. Sorry for that bomb, but I curse. I curse a lot in real life. I try to keep it PG for all my PG viewers. But I got a potty mouth sometimes, especially when I'm mad. But whatever. Uh, holiday season's coming up. Holiday 2014. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Um, Thanksgiving is less than a week away. I'll be going to a boyfriend's house and enjoying a deep fried turkey for the first time. Never had deep fried turkey. Ever, ever, ever. Um, so that'll be fun. That'll be great. And then Christmas. We had said that we were going to set budgets and then we didn't. And... Uh, now, now nobody knows. It's anybody's game. I don't even know. I don't know. Um, but it'll be great. I haven't had a boyfriend at Christmas in a long time. This is gonna be romantical. Ah. No. Um, <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, let's see. What else? I miss my friends during the holidays. I miss my best friend who lives in Long Island. Um... It just sucks. Like, I want... And my best friend that lives... Well, my bestest friend lives in Long Island. My best friend lives in Virginia. And I live in Jersey. So my closest friend is in our... Not my only friend, but, you know, like, my best... I've known her since high school. And I'm in grad school, so that's been a long time. And I want us to live all in the same cul-de-sac. Because I don't want us to live on a busy street. Because um, we're all going to have kids one day. Trudy has kids. So, like, if I could live in the middle... And my friends live on the side, and we own the cul-de-sac. I think that's really all anybody wants in life, is to live in the same neighborhood street as their friends. Mm, that's it. That's my holiday wish. Uh, what else? Mm. Oh. I've been asked why in a lot of my videos I'm wearing a black shirt. Do I film them all on the same day? Do I only wear black shirts? As a makeup artist, we have a lot of black, but that's not why I'm always wearing a black shirt. For some reason, I've been asked why in a lot of my videos I'm wearing a black shirt. Do I film them all on the same day? Do I only wear black shirts? As a makeup artist, we have a lot of black, but that's not why I'm always wearing a black shirt. For some reason, in my mind, I film in a black t-shirt for continuity. This isn't a television show, though, so I don't know why where I, why I do that I'm not really sure I I don't I don't know I think it's just easier for me that way and also lighting messes up like different whatever you wear messes up the lighting with the ring light here like if I were to put white on my white robe like I nobody I don't see I'm, I'm wearing a leg shirt <laughs> under here <laughs> um I don't know I'm gonna do it until until my black shirt gets a hole in and I'll get a new black shirt from Express. So there. I'm not gonna change. Um, I think that's about it. I've almost rambled for about 10 minutes and I think you might be tired of me rambling. But uh, make sure you get yourself some tea for the next session. i sip the tea. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about reality television, grad school, holiday season, significant others during the holidays, um, and wearing black t-shirts for filming. Um, stay fabulously you. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at 3 Makeup. Love you. Bye.